back of an Icelandic horse, looking out at this landscape. It's not terrible, is it? Icelandic horses have been bred over the years to be friendly and trusting of humans, which means you can travel across the countryside in a unique fashion. You know, the way we travel when we're traveling with our horses is that we have this herd of loose horses with us, and they are, they are there that we, we can stop and, and swap, you know. So we're always having a fresh horse, and we keep up the tempo. We ride a bit faster than always. So we, we ride, stop, swap, go. We can go on forever, actually. <laughs> Way to get the wild horse to come with you. Most horses can trot, canter, and gallop. But not every horse can tolt, a special gait that Icelandic horses have, which doesn't just get you across the harsh terrain, but it gets you across it quickly and comfortably. Uh, the tolt. It feels like you're sitting on a soft uh, sofa, you know. He's, they, they are very, very smooth. Only one foot at a time is, is on the ground, so they are kind of moving quite like a fast walk, actually. We reach the final leg of our ride, and to complete it, we have to cross an ancient trail, which goes straight across this lake. But as we swap our horses in preparation for the task ahead, we receive a Norse omen in the shape of a sea eagle. We have a lot of old, beliefs here, you know, superstitious a little. The ravens know a lot. The eagle is very important. He's watching over us a little and, and bringing us luck. That's what I believe in at least. You know. And with that piece of good news, it's time to hit the water. That was incredible. Oh, absolutely dashing across the water on horseback, surrounded by these beautiful mountains. I think it's one of the most exhilarating things I've ever done in my life. As autumn moves out, signs of winter begin to move in. And even the rugged Icelandic horses need help to shelter from the coldest season of them all. Every year, the Icelandic farmers head to the highlands and into the valleys to round up their horses and bring them home for winter. The horses are driven to lower ground, to places like this. This is Laufskalariat, one of the biggest roundups in Iceland. Every farmer has its small piece of the, of the paddock. Then you, you help each other out to put the correct horses in the correct part. Of, and this takes a while, but it, it works. <laughs> the Travel Show, your essential guide wherever you're heading. Every weekend on BBC World News.